Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. So in this video, we are going to solve another random board exam problem. This time, this is random board problem number 29. So this problem, guys, is very common to all engineering subjects. So in the board examination, um we can solve this manually and of course we can solve this using your calculator technique okay so that's the best part guys now so solving this the fastest way possible using your calculator so because our calculator is not limited to just the uh, first integral it also solves uh, multiple integral so if you're not familiar with the calculator technique so stick on watching this video so at the end of the solution, manual solution, we will solve this using our calculator technique. So first, let's solve this manually. So suppose that this is a board exam review. Let's just recall uh, some of those basic concepts. So if you're given a multiple integral, basically that's an integral with multiple limits. And we have here multiple derivatives inside that integral. Okay. So our process is... Uh, you just integrate first the inner part, so inner to outer, uh, is the process in solving multiple integral. So integrate first the inner, and then you go outer, and then uh, until you finish all the derivatives. For example, first, uh, here the sequence is dx, dy, and dz. So therefore, you start evaluating integral of dx, and then you apply this limit. Okay? So the inner limit corresponds to the inner derivative, and then uh, you go outside. So here, dy corresponds to this, and dz corresponds to this. So first, evaluate natin yung integral of dx. So ang limit ng integral of dx is 0 to y. Okay? So first, copy lang natin yung mga outer since hindi pa yun yung integrate natin. So 0 to 3. And then integral of here we are 0 to 2. And then we integrate this. We integrate this uh, inner function. So integral of dx is of course x. And then the limit is we have here 0 to y. And then we copy the remaining derivatives dy, dz. So first, before you proceed in integrating the second uh, integral, first evaluate the limits okay so here upper limit minus lower limit basically just substitute y to x and uh, 0 to x so here we have so copy lang natin here we have upper limit so y minus lower limit 0 so that is dy dz so you have integral of okay copy lang natin so y dy and then dz. So, we now go to dy since yun yung inner function natin or inner derivative natin. So, here, we just evaluate this. Okay? And then finally, after you evaluate that, evaluate natin yung dz and then we're done solving this problem. So, for this, no, we can apply power rule. So, we have here, copy lang muna natin yung outer and eto evaluate natin to. Okay, we evaluate this part of the integral, inner. So we have, this is power rule, so that's y squared. So basically, ang exponent is 1, so you just add 1 to it, and then divide by the same exponent. So uh, y raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So that's 2 here, and then 2 on the denominator. And then the limit, of course, that is from 0 to 2. And then, we're done with dy. Just proceed with dz here. So, but before you proceed to dz, apply the limits. So, integral of. So, here, copy lang. And then, apply natin yung limits. So, basically, substitute 2 to y and then 0 to y. So, upper limit. So, that's 2 squared over 2 minus lower limit. So, 0 squared over 2. And then, here, that's derivative of z. 
So here we have an integral of 0 to 3. And then ito, that is 2 squared. So that is 4 divided by 2. So 2. So this is 2 derivative of z. And then we evaluate now, last, yung derivative of z. So we evaluate that. That is, so 2 times integral of dz. So that is z. So 2 times z. And then that is from 0 to 3. And then we just evaluate that. So 2 times upper limit minus lower limit 0. So therefore, that is 2 times 3, that is 6. So therefore, the equivalent of this a definite multiple integral, so that is triple integral, is equal to 6. So that is the final answer for this problem. So that's very simple uh, solution for this problem. So this applied to all uh, multiple integrals. So there are just uh, a very long uh, multiple integral problems, but the process remains the same. So let's solve this again using our calculator. Okay, so in our calculator, we can actually solve for the multiple integrals. But in this case, we can only start using our calculator if our limit are defined. So in this case, hindi tayo pwede mag-start dito sa third integral kasi naka 0 to y siya. So we cannot input variables in our calculator. So we cannot input a limit na variables calculator. We can only input definite numbers or real numbers. In this case, dito tayo mag-start ng Caltech natin. This is the form where indefined yung ating mga limits. Okay, so integral. So kapag naka-double integral siya guys, no? so dito mo ilalagay yung isang integral sa kabila. Okay? Ayan. And then, inner to outer pa rin tayo. So in this case, diba that, that is y dy. So sa calculator natin, ang default na variable is x. So kahit y dy ito, x lang ilalagay natin dito. So ang counterpart niyan is x dx. Okay? So, same thing for dz. So, for dz, dx pa rin yung ilalagay natin. Okay? So, as long as your sequence is from inner to outer. Okay? So, that is y dy. Sa calculator natin, that is x dx. And then, we have here dz. So, dz lang siya. No? So, wala siyang other z variables. Just input one here. And then, we just put the limit for y dy. That is 0 to 2. And then we have for derivative of z, that is, so dun tayo sa outermost, so that is 0 to 3. So just press equals, it should give you the same answer. Okay, so that is how you use your calculator technique. So inner to outer pa rin yung process natin. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from this, guys. So, so let's solve more board exam problem in my future videos. Again, guys, if you have content suggestions, uh, just comment it down on the comment section of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video.